All right, so here we go. This is a WordPress demo site. I've used it in dozens of videos at this point, and it looks like WordPress. It's kind of boring and dull, and it either looks like a good old friend or makes you feel boring and dull. But let's go ahead and spruce it up. You can see I've already got this plugin installed called Admin 2020. Let's just turn it on. And just like that, the plugin is activated and WordPress looks a whole lot different. Hey, what's going on? It's Dave from Profitable Tools. And in this video, we're gonna make WordPress a little bit more beautiful. Now, WordPress has been around for well over 10 years at this point, and you know what? The back end really hasn't changed a whole heck of a lot. If you go look at WordPress tutorials from 2010, they look a lot like they do in 2020. And for me, that's fine. I'm familiar with the user interface, but if you're selling websites to clients, they might want things to look a little bit more modern, a little bit more sleek. You know, you've got Squarespace out there. They've got a really nice user interface experience. Well, it wouldn't be nice if we could give our clients a similar experience when they're using their website. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you Admin 2020, a new plugin that sets out to do just that. All right, so here we go. This is a WordPress demo site. I've used it in dozens of videos at this point, and it looks like WordPress. It's kind of boring and dull, and it either looks like a good old friend or makes you feel boring and dull. But let's go ahead and spruce it up. You can see I've already got this plugin installed called Admin 2020. Let's just turn it on. And just like that, the plugin is activated and WordPress looks a whole lot different. Now, whether it's better or worse, that's obviously up for interpretation, but it definitely looks more customized. You can see I've got my logo up in the corner here. It's a lot more plain. We've got, you know, a nice kind of uh, laid back, removed some of the clutter from, from the menus and it's pretty easy to navigate. We've got some nice dividers over here on the sidebar. Admin 2020 also adds a search function to the back end of your website. There's a new little magnifying glass up here and I could search for something. Oh, how about like Amelia? I can search for that as a plugin I've got installed. And you can see here's a couple pages that have Amelia short codes on them. I can find them very, very quickly. I think that feature is super useful. The media library also gets a refreshed look with this plugin. You can see I've got a couple different views here. Uh, overall, things are organized really nicely. I can see it in list view. I can see it in grid view. We're used to seeing some of these things in the back end of normal WordPress, but there is a new feature here, which is folders. So I could create a new folder, call it something like logos and hit create. And now I can move my logos over here and keep them nice and organized. Now there are other plugins that have very similar functionality, but this is all bundled into a single plugin. So that's kind of nice to have. You can see in the upper right hand corner here, I can sort by different media types. Right now I'm looking at all if I just wanted to find audio files, I could click on the little microphone. I don't have any audio uploaded to this website. I could also find any videos that I might have uploaded. Oh, look, I've got one there. And then of course there's images over here and PDFs at the very end. Do you think the interface looks maybe a little too bright now? You know, we're used to this nice dark sidebar. Well, don't worry, Admin 2020 has you covered there as well. Let's go up to the profile up here and I can just toggle on dark mode. All right, that is a lot better, especially if you're staring at a screen late into the night and you don't wanna burn your retinas off. Admin 2020 also gives you the ability to hide certain menu items based on the user role. So this is really nice if you've got clients and you wanna give them administrative capabilities so they can edit their site, but you don't want them to see everything you're using on the back end. Well, let me show you how this works. So we're over in settings and then admin 2020, and this is where we can customize the settings for the admin 2020 plugin. You can see this is where I've uploaded my logo. You also have the ability to say, turn off things like, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but as I click between different pages, I'll just click here quickly. We'll go over to the import screen. There's this little loading bar. I can toggle that off in the settings screen. We can also disable the overview page or even set it to be the default admin homepage. Now I haven't showed you the overview page yet, so we'll look at that in a second. If you don't like that new WordPress media gallery, of course you can turn that off as well. And you can also change the primary link color if the default is not suiting you. Now the user menu section is where you can hide things from clients so they don't necessarily see all of the clutter that it took to build their website. Now, I will say that it would be nice if there was the ability to add a custom role right from this screen. That does not exist right now, so you'd have to grab another plugin to do that. But let's say uh, you know I had editors on my site and I didn't want them to access the Fluent Forms plugin. I could simply uh, choose the editor and then have it hide Fluent Forms from them. Maybe I also wanna hide, oh, downloads and reviews as well very easy to customize who can see what on a user by user basis. And last but not least, let's check out this overview screen. 
So this is basically something you could replace the WordPress dashboard with. You can see that I've already linked it up to Google Analytics. Now, I just did that a couple days ago, so there's not really any traffic on this demo site, but we get some nice graphs. We can see the active pages. We can see where people are visiting the, the, the website from. We've got some money from the Philippines here, a couple visitors from the United States, most commented posts, and a little bit of system info. Let's flip out of dark mode so you can see what this looks like in the regular view. There you go. I'm actually not much of a dark mode person myself and I much prefer this look. So that's it. That's what Admin 2020 does for your WordPress website. It gives you a really nice looking backend and adds a few useful features, things like search, a folder function for your media library, and a front end view of the analytics for your site. These are all really kind of common features and I'd like to actually see WordPress implement some more of these, but Admin 2020 does it for you right now so you don't have to wait around for another version of WordPress. So am I gonna install this on the back end of every website I build from here on out? Well, no, probably not, but I think for the right client, it could really spruce things up and maybe light up their eyes a little bit and get them to trust you a little more. If you wanna grab a copy of Admin 2020, the link will be down below. Of course, that's our referral link and we'll earn a small commission if you click that link and go and make a purchase, although it won't cost you anything extra. If you have any questions about this plugin or anything else really related to WordPress, you can either leave a comment down below or head over to our Facebook group where we're chatting about WordPress software and other ways to grow your business all day, all night. I try to be available a few hours every single day over in the Facebook group. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next review.